This day has been celebrated in informal settlements of Kibera, Mkuru, Kawangware and Kibarage in Nairobi and in rural poor areas of Kisumu, Makueni and Homa Bay counties. Each year on 12th June, the World Day brings to highlight the plight of child laborers and what can be done to help them. With this year's 2019 theme being it's easier to take advantage of this situation and um, we find that uh, some of the perpetrators who are committing these cases they have money, these are people who have money they are people who live in the environment of these slums they come, they, um, they buy these young girls they get advantage of these young uh, boys, young men, children as per today, 152 million children are still in child labor. Although child labor occurs in almost every sector, 7 out of every 10 are in agriculture, which affects children both psychologically and even health-wise, with gender-based violence crowning it all. It's easier to take advantage of this situation. And um, uh, you find that uh, some of the perpetrators who are committing these cases they have money, these are people who have money. They are people who live in the environment of these slums. They come, they, um, they buy these young girls, they get advantage of these young uh, boys, young men, children. Different groups have organized caravans and a public gathering to sensitize the community on eliminating violence against women and to promote a violent free environment for vulnerable women, youth and children as we commemorate this year's World day against child labor and uh, we are here because part of child labor is what is causing a lot of violence amongst our children more so in the informal settlements and as children and women are the most affected, shelters for these children remain to be a thorn in the flesh. Since Nairobi County only have one rescue shelter for children. One of the challenges that we are having is that Nairobi County government, we do not have a shelter or what we can call a safe space for us or a half house for our survivors of sexual and gender-based violence. The funding that we have been allocated, that is 4.8 billion million for this program, it's a recognition, but it's not enough. On this World Day, we also look forward towards UN Sustainable Development Goals Target 8.7, set by the international community, calling for an end to child labor in all its form by 2025. For Ebru TV, I'm Ode Francis.